Too often, we are forced to choose one amazing game over another. So we set out to solve that problem. And to answer the question, what if you didn't have to choose? What if you could play them all? The answer, Xbox Game Pass, a way to give gamers the ultimate freedom to play. You have delivered unto me a portent of two most terrible. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you just wanted to know how much it was worth, didn't you? Fine, I'll give you ten for it. We really want to focus on player choice, right? There will be some kinds of games where a free-to-play mechanic might make sense, um, and then there are going to be games where you just want to buy the game and play it and uh, want to get into it as a just a, a contained game, right? And I don't think for us, when we get behind our game creators, when we get behind our game teams, that we're going to ever come at it with uh, that kind of directionality about, you know, how do you go designing your game? It's more what's right for the game, right? And every game's going to be different. Different folks like to purchase their games differently, and I think that's why uh, at Xbox we're really focused on all of those. It's why you can still go to a retailer and buy a game, right? It's why you can buy it digitally, and it's why you can uh, decide to subscribe to Game Pass if that's the approach. Uh, you know, our, we're about player choice as opposed to really trying to figure out, uh, you know, where that might go. Well, the way, way people are monetizing games has been changing quite significantly, right? So, um, you know, the $60 box that you buy at your Target or your Walmart or your GameStop has, has changed quite a bit. Um, we're seeing these service models come in. And then obviously the other big influence is the rise of free-to-play games. They've been dominating on mobile devices for a very long time, but now the success of something like Fortnite uh, has really stopped, got people thinking that you can release a game for free, you can charge nothing for it, but you can make a very successful business by charging for cosmetics, you know, costumes for your character, uh, crazy emotes and dances for your character. Uh, Fortnite is obviously the biggest game in the world right now, but you're seeing that influence spread on into other things.